Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Scuba Travel and Adventure. Thomas here. Today is a little bit different uh, topic. Uh, I usually make videos about uh, riding my motorcycle and scuba diving, but at the same time, my channel is related to anything travel. This is our new purchase, uh, Winnebago Hike uh, 171 DB, which is a 17 foot trailer that is meant to go off grid and off road. Uh, so it's a fully loaded toy. Uh, basically, it has everything what you want. And uh, this video is going to be a little bit different than all the other videos on, on YouTube that I've seen so far, because most of the videos that you find are made by the salespeople and the dealerships. This is my review, uh, good and ugly about this trailer. There's not so much ugly stuff, but uh, there is a few things that I find uh, for the, this kind of a price tag of a trailer that has some faults. I'll go over everything on this trailer and uh, I hope it's gonna help you in choosing a future travel trailer. Uh, for your family. My family, uh, there's only three people in it, me, my wife, and we have a 10-year-old daughter. So this is more than enough. Even though the trailer looks small from the outside, but at the same time, it offers plenty of room. First of all, 171 dB means that the trailer is uh, 17 feet long. What's new on this trailer, they've added that what they call exoskeleton, uh, which is those mounting bars all around uh, the trailer it's, that is designed to attach any accessories pretty much made by Thule from your bike carriers to canoe carriers and everything like that. The trailer offers uh, plenty of storage. So the first storage compartment, which is the biggest one, is the one right here which is under the front bed. I'll show you what the, what the front looks, uh, how it looks inside afterwards. So I'll cover everything on the outside first. So this is the cubby hole that gets through right across to the other side. And on that side, I'm storing all my um, hoses, the sewer hoses, uh, electrical cables and everything else, my leveling uh, pads. And um, so yeah, that offers plenty of room. A uh, nice feature on this trailer, all the lights are LED lights, so they're pretty bright and they meant uh, to last uh, for quite some time. So you see that exoskeleton is also mounted on the bottom, so you can mount stuff right here as well. The weight of this trailer is uh, 1,815 kilograms, which is uh, 4,000 pounds. I'll go to the actual specs because uh, I have them here. So the width of the trailer is 7.9 feet and the height is 10.2 feet. Hitch weight is four, 444 pounds. Dry weight of the trailer, which, which is probably the most important part. So the dry weight, we're looking at 3,598 pounds, which makes it very light and you can tow it pretty much with uh, most of the vehicles, you don't really need a, t a big truck for that. I have a Ford F-150, um, so I have more than enough power to pull it, but I'm pretty sure you can even pull it with the SUV uh, or a smaller truck as well. well. Let's go over some features here. So first of all, it offers the slide out, which I will extend and I'll show you how, how much room uh, that comes out. So this is how the trailer looks uh, with the fully extended slide out. So it's uh, slightly over the foot and it's just a little bit outside of the fender. So it doesn't really take that much, uh, that much more space. The gross weight of this trailer is uh, 4,200 pounds and I'll start going over the features. So it offers you an outside shower. Uh, so if you want to use it after the hike or after you go biking or whatever activities you're doing while you're camping, you have an option of uh, using the outside shower. And all the connections are on this side here. So starting with the bottom, so we'll start at the bottom here. So as you see, uh, you have quite a bit of clearance. So we're almost looking at over three feet of clearance of the ground. So you can take it off road uh, if you want to. So this is your gray and black water drain. 
Uh, what's nice, what they did on this, because most of the trailers, they'll have the release valves right on a pipe here. On this one here, you have the gray water and the black water just pulls out here on the side. So you don't have to reach back uh, to, to drain it. Uh, another great feature is the tanks are actually heated. They're saying that this trailer is good for four season camping. So it's fall here. Yeah, you need to winterize it even though it's a four season camping, but uh, we are actually thinking of taking this trailer maybe when we will go snowboarding in the winter. So instead of paying any accommodation, uh, we will stay in a trailer and uh, we can use it in the winter. The fenders, they have a high clearance and uh, they have a new design of the axles as well. The, uh, they come with the off-road tires with uh, aluminum rims. So that's uh, again, very nice feature. So you can take it pretty much uh, most of the places and it has the new torsion axle, what they call it. Uh, lots of windows all around the trailer. So that's another benefit. It gets nice and bright inside uh, or during the day. Uh, so you have a lot of, lot of uh, natural light coming through. Uh, right here on this side. So first thing is your electricity hookup. So that runs all your inverter and everything else. There's the fridge right here and the fridge is running on electricity and gas. So it's a dual stage uh, fridge. Same thing with the hot water tank. It's electricity and gas and the furnace. Of course, it's uh, just running on gas. Hot water tank, it's a six gallon tank. Right beside the electricity hookup, uh, there is a fresh water fill. That's if you want to fill up your tanks. And uh, I will st uh, I will mention the capacities now. So the fresh, wa the fresh water capacity is uh, 31 gallon. The gray water is uh, 25 gallon and the black water tank is also 25 gallons. So it's, they're not the biggest tanks, but um, we can make it last about uh, three, four days pushing uh, from what, what, what I found so far uh, when I was uh, camping with the family. So we stayed uh, four days and uh, we had no problems. Yes, you have to uh, be careful how much water you will use, but uh, if you do just the necessary stuff, you'll be okay. Everything is powered on this tra trailer. So it's loaded uh, pretty much uh, with all the features to the max. It has a power uh, support jacks as well as the power front jack for the tongue. So the, the graphics in the back, pretty standard, big window in the back as well. Uh, it's uh, also fitted for the backup camera if you, if you want to add one. I don't really need it, uh, so I don't have it, but it's pre-wired if you decide to get one. Uh, another great feature, so th those bars allow you to climb on the roof and uh, attach all the other stuff. So you see them all around the trailer. And again, we have uh, LED lights. They even include the backup lights, which uh, not many trailers actually offer, but this, this brand here offers those. Another great thing is the hitch uh, receiver here. So you can, you can attach like a little tray for your generator or uh, bikes or other additional camping gear that you don't want to store inside. Uh, the, the, keep in mind that it only has a 150 pounds capacity. So you cannot tow really with that uh, attachment. So we'll jump over to the other side. Now on this side here, uh, so th those are the controls for your leveling jacks uh, th th that controls the back. The front will be right on the other side right here. So you have all the controls for your leveling jacks right here. It comes, the trailer comes with the power awning, which is also illuminated with the LED light strip right on the bottom. I'll show you how it extends. I will cover the controls once I get inside. There we go, so the awning is extended, so you get a nice shade. And uh, if it's raining, uh, there is an option that you can tilt it a little bit. So you just pull it on either side and the water is gonna go to only one side. So that's another feature that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, my old awning was all powered by hand. Everything was manual, this one is all automatic. 
the LED, the LED strip goes all across uh, pretty much the awning here. Um, there's a window shade as well, or blind, however you want to call it, so you can roll it up, uh, up and down. Uh, the door is supported by the actual sh like a shock, so it's a really nice uh, feature, so it doesn't open fast. As we see, we have three windows on that side. Another feature on this trailer, which is uh, pretty new to new, a lot of trailers, is the black water flash system. So you can hook up uh, fresh water here and it has sprayers inside the black water tank. So you can flash it out every, uh, after every trip. And that's the access to the other side of the storage compartment that goes under the front of the bed. It comes with the speakers included uh, uh, in a package. So the spare tire, as most of the trailer, is mounted on the back. On this unit here, it's mounted on the bottom, so it actually has a screw right here to, lo to lower and rise the sp uh, spare wheel uh, or tire. Well, the, the wheel, not the tire. But it's not aluminum wheel the same as it comes on a, on a trailer. It's just uh, on a, mounted on a steel rim. But the nice thing, it is actually the same size. So you don't have a donut, you have a full size wheel, except it's made out of steel. So I will show you one more thing here in the front before jumping onto the roof and show you all the stuff that's on the roof there. Right in the front here, there is a power tank jack and you have that storage box. So that storage box uh, holds your two propane tanks, uh, two 20 pounders. And in my case, I have two six volt batteries mounted on each side. So that gives you just a little bit room around to like a fishing rod or um, camping uh, forks. So yeah, but there's still room on top. You can add, uh, add small things. One negative thing about this uh, setup here, they can, it comes with that box, but it didn't come with any lock, uh, which is kind of dumb. And I've added a lock myself here. So just so I can lock this actually, nobody can steal your propane tank or batteries if uh, the trailer is at the storage area. So now I will hop on the roof and I'll show you uh, the one biggest problem with the trailer that I, that I have encountered since I bought it. And I went back to the dealership and uh, they were all um, like that, some more, some less. So that's something to really look at because I will actually go back to the dealership. I, may, I have an appointment on October the 7th and I'm hoping that they're gonna resolve the problem. That to me, that doesn't look right. And uh, I want to have a peace of mind that uh, Winnebago is going to take care of it. So the problem area is those creases right here. You can see the cracks underneath. That's how where they mounted that exoskeleton. Uh, to me, that's very concerning area uh, because uh, I'm, right now it's okay, but on the long term, I hope it will not cause any problems. And uh, the same thing is here on the other side. Show you this. So basically you can see the cracks all around. And that's uh, like underneath this, uh, the, the main shell. Uh, it's actually peeking through there. So that's something that's uh, uh, to pay attention because most of those trailers, they do have those uh, creases. Uh, or cracks, however you want to call it. So AC unit is right here. Behind uh, what you see is the solar panel, uh, antenna, and I have added that max air vent cover. So when it's raining, actually, I can uh, open the vent without worrying about water getting inside. And here you can see that exoskeleton is also on the roof, so you can uh, attach all the different attachments to the roof and uh, like your small kayaks or stuff like that. All right, guys, so we are inside the trailer now and I'll start here at the front uh, of the trailer and I show you all the features inside the Winnebago hike. So to start, uh, you have on top of the bed a big shelf that you can pile a lot of stuff and you have windows on both sides of the trailer. This window here, it's the emergency exit. 
and that window here, it's covered with the blind at this moment, it's a second window. What you see here, it's a big queen size bed right in the front. Uh, plenty of room, uh, we can easily fit in here and that makes uh, two of us and sometimes even our daughter can join us uh, if she doesn't want to some go uh, to the back uh, on the dinette. So sometimes uh, she likes to hop in to mom and dad and sleep with us. So the trailer width is about seven feet. So it's not as wide as the normal trailers. So we'll move around here. So another thing here, starting with the kitchen. So that is the part that, that slides out, uh, that is the slide out. So the whole kitchen is a slide out and I'll cover that from the other angle once I get on the other side of the trailer here. So first thing on top here, what we see is a microwave slash convection oven. Very nice feature, so it doesn't have the separate oven like our previous trailer did, but uh, at the same time, it gives us all the option of the regular oven. Uh, you got a tray, you got a standard microwave tray, and uh, you can have bake and microwave in this thing. Down below, you can see uh, there is a fridge. It is not the biggest fridge, but it's a domestic fridge. And one thing, it's a bummer since it's a off-grid trailer, this fridge is only gas and electric. It doesn't have a 12 volt. So I'll open that up, how much room you have inside. Actually, so, it's smaller than our previous fridge in the, our previous trailer, but at the same time, it's big enough for us because uh, we never filled up the other trailer uh, fridge as well. So you get the nice shelving on a door. And then inside the fridge, you have uh, two shelves. The freezer is right on top, so it's got just more than enough. You can stick a couple burgers or a couple steaks here. So plenty of room for the basic stuff for three people that we are uh, a family of three. So now starting here at the top in a slide out, you have two big cabinets right above the sink and a stove. And they do have uh, plenty of room uh, so you can store all your spices and other stuff as well few spices and then we have the plates and mugs right on the other side here so very nice and what I like about it that the doors are closing very firm so that's a very nice feature one thing I'll have to add is the bumpers here not to because when you let it go it just slams against the top of the of this uh, piece right there so there is a kitchen window as well with LED lighting so the very nice touch uh, with those LED lights uh, right above the uh, kitchen here sink and stove and the backsplash is actually pretty nice looking very contemporary looks and very modern design so uh, I, we really like the colors uh, of this trailer here it's a single sink it doesn't have uh, two pieces like our previous one but uh, as on, on top it has a cutting board so that can be used as a cutting board very nice touch again very well thought our previous sink had two um, two uh, basins this one has only one and again the faucets are actually very modern and stylish as well in this trailer so right beside the sink there is a stove it's a two burner stove one one negative thing about this stove that it doesn't have a self igniter so you we do need a, a lighter or something to or matches to light that up but again very nice idea and the the stove closes with the glass cover so we'll go slightly below here and right above the stove there's two drawers and one on top here it has the latches which is a, a good thought i'll get to something in a second here and the bottom one is a little bit more spacious because the top one has uh, the the bowl of the stove so here we keep our spoons and all the other accessories for the kitchen Right beside the two drawers, there's a big cabinet here under the sink, and that's where we keep all our toaster, 
I have my whisk, uh, my ramen there, and all the other cooking stuff. So here you got a better look on the whole kitchen. And right beside the sink on the left side, there is a little wardrobe. Uh, there is a room for cloth hangers, but you would have to remove this little shelf from here. If not, you can store stuff on the shelves. Again, plenty of room here. Just below this little wardrobe, there's two drawers. One thing they didn't do here, uh, what I found uh, annoying when I was driving on my first uh, camping trip, that the drawers were sliding out while you're pulling the trailer on the road and they were pretty much wide open by the time we got to the destination. So what I did, I installed the same latches except I had to squeeze them on the side as uh, the manufacturer installed it on the other two drawers that I showed you before. So that's one of them and the second one is the same idea and that's where we are keeping all our like garbage bags a tablecloth cover and a mosquito repellent, a couple other things. So right above me, uh, that's before, before we enter the front of the trailer and uh, here where the microwave oven is, right above, above me there is an air conditioner unit. And uh, of course air conditioner will run only on electricity in our case. So that will not operate in any other way, of course, so that's pretty standard. And uh, since, we're since we're talking about the AC and climate control, here is the controller for the furnace. It is the cheapest thing I ever seen in my life. I wouldn't be the first one that breaks this little knob because basically to operate it, it's so fragile to turn it on and off. So that's where that little thing is. I might have to buy another one or keep it as a spare or totally buy a different uh, thermostat because that thing is just ridiculous. Uh, I heard so many reports that people broke it. Below the thermostat you have uh, two controls uh, for the vent in the bathroom. So one is uh, to open the vent and the other one is to turn on and off the fan. So the vent is actually electric in this trailer so it has a motor to open the vent inside the bathroom. So right above the shower, that's where the vent is located and you can actually see, open it and close with the button that I showed you just a second ago. And I have installed above the max air vent cover so you can keep it open while it's raining or driving to get more fresh air in here. The shower is a little bit um, short but it's possible to wash yourself. I did it uh, on the last camping trip. There was no problem. You just have to uh, kneel down a bit or something and it's, it will work. So of course it's a camper. It's not a five-star hotel, uh, but it's to us it's as good as five-star hotel. So the shower head and the faucets are very nice looking, very modern. We have a lot of junks here. We have a lot of junk here at this moment, so in the bathtub, so because we are just getting ready to go for another camping trip. So that's the bathtub itself or shower. And right in front of me here, that's where the sink is located. Um, one thing I find in this trailer, uh, the manufacturer left loads and loads of sawdust, like here. Uh, we already owned the trailer for quite some time and as you see it's coming out uh, out of every hole that they were drilling. Uh, we already swept it and cleaned it a few times and they're still coming. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to end actually for a quality trailer that uh, Winnebago is building. I find it it's quite pathetic, uh, the craftsmanship and the quality control. Right under the uh, sink there is a another cupboard with lots of room for a couple towel, extra towels and uh, in our case we we'll, we'll keep here also the cleaning supplies and extra toilet paper so that's pretty much it. The colors of the furniture are really nice and bright. Uh, we really like it. Makes it even though the trailer is small it makes it look big. Uh, right on the side here there is a power outlet so you can plug in your hairdryer or shaver if you need to charge it and it did come with the towel rack 
but it didn't come with the toilet paper hanger so here we go there is the toilet it's a standard trailer toilet except the differences from the previous trailer that we had that it has a foot flush right there instead of the little handle on the side so that is the difference of uh, the toilet from the previous one which is more convenient right in the corner of the shower we have uh, three shelves that are built in for your shampoos conditioner or any soaps whatever you will be using okay so now we are uh, in the back of the trailer and it's got an awesome led lighting a uh, really nice touch and they are just a push button so you just push the button and turns everything on and off same type of shelf uh, that that we have seen in the front of the trailer and it's uh, plenty of light so it's really nice and bright here with two opening windows and a window in the back and uh, that table folds uh, which we're gonna get in a second and th this area also offers you plenty of storage under the seats um, i did talk about the storage in the front but i'll show you now the storage here inside uh, how much room there is uh, on that side so there's a little strap for for extra safety for so the trailer doesn't the the table doesn't wobble while you're driving so this is the area where the dinette was assembled and under those boards there's storage everywhere so we will start with the one on passenger side which is rear left side of the trailer we open this and there is quite a bit of storage here so we have a sleeping bag we have a fire pit and shoes right on the left side here and there is a shell uh, door that opens so you can access through there uh, the little stuff unfortunately the big stuff you have to open that cover right in the middle there's another storage place and here we keep in our case a uh, few items only uh, there's room for more obviously but uh, here we have um, electric heater a lamp gas power lamp and a coffee maker uh, doesn't fit under the sink it's too tall we might invest into a smaller one in the future so on the right side under the cover first thing what we see on the uh, is here the furnace and it's a domestic furnace and six gallon hot water tank so there's also room if you want to pile some other stuff but i don't think i would recommend to pile anything in this area and right beside there is a low spot draining valves and the tank is already installed with the bypass so is the water pump which is located under the sink in this trailer so it has a bypass built in so it will be easy to winterize in my previous trailer i had to purchase all that separately and here everything is installed which is great so for those of you that uh, are new to this trailer or not familiar the location of the pump is basically between you have to take that whole board out and screw the five screws and get into the water pump to get in to pump the anti antifreeze through and the pump location is just pretty much under the first two drawers on the right hand side so this is how the dinette looks uh, when it's converted so into a bed so basically it's a double bed you can easily fit in there i'll show you so i'm about six feet tall and i still have a spare about that much uh, in behind my head so there is uh, quite a bit of room uh, for two people in here as you see if i move it on that side there's still lots of room for another person so technically you can easily sleep four people in this trailer last thing is the control panel here and the entertainment system so we'll start here from the far right that's where is your switch located for the awning and basically it has a power button and then you uh, awning uh, rolling out and the rolling in switch and make sure you turn that off when you are not using this so it doesn't drain any extra power another great feature that when i was talking about outside is the heater for the 
gray water tanks and the black water tanks. So basically it's a four season trailer. Um, you can use that uh, if the heater is on. The last thing is your standard controller, which has all the contr controls for the uh, water pump, then your gas tank, uh, to the hot water tank to run on gas, and hot water tank to run on electric. It's a dual mod, it can run on electricity and it can run on propane. Uh, right above you have your battery level, fresh water tank, black water tank and a gray water tank. So right, in, right beside the controls uh, for the hot water tanks and the uh, indicators for the level of waste and fresh water, you have your switch for the main light right above me and then your LED owning lights that I showed you before uh, when I was outside. And the last thing on the left side is the slide out uh, switches. So basically it's the same as your owning, it's got a main power source and then put in the slide out and out. Info center, it's really nice, uh, the radio is really nice uh, because it's uh, Bluetooth and there's, there's two speakers inside. So one right here and one on the other side right there and the, another two speakers are located on the outside so there is a way to change it from A to B speakers. It comes with the TV. On the previous trailer we never had a TV, we never watched any TV while we were camping. Maybe we'll use it since we have it on a rainy day instead of uh, playing games or whatever or watch a movie because it has a DVD player as well. Another nice touch what they did here is the wireless phone charger which is built in to the cabinet so you can just place your phone and charge your phone and uh, the the trailer is also prepped for the wi-fi one of the last things in here we have another cabinet just below the tv and it has two shelves top and bottom uh, quite a bit of room as you see and uh, below there is the inverter so that's all your breakers and all the stuff that any trailer will have. So that covers uh, most of the features of the trailer here inside. Plenty of room uh, for three of us. Uh, as I said before in a bathroom, uh, all the debris are falling out of here. Um, and you see that sawdust cleaned multiple times and it's still coming out. And same thing even on the light fixture, it was collecting right here. So pay attention to those things. The roof creases, that are probably the most annoying things at this point. What bothers me uh, on this trailer, I would expect uh, way better workmanship than what we're finding here. But let's hope it's not an issue. I reported it to the dealer and I'm hoping that they will take care of it. One thing to mention uh, that I didn't talk about, uh, there's a couple other power outlets. So the, I showed you the one in the bathroom, but then you have one here above the shelf in, on a dinette. Another power outlet uh, here in the kitchen uh, on the slide out. There's also a power outlet right beside the bed. Uh, so you can see that there. And safety features uh, that I got to cover, I didn't talk about it. So you got your smoke detector, right at the entry point and carbon monoxide detector is just right there this thing right here on the wall on the bottom and this trailer even came with fire extinguisher let's hope we don't have to use it but it's available it's here for us in emergency so basically my only concerns uh, about this trailer were uh, since we bought it with uh, with all that dust coming out everywhere uh, those little LED lights on top, uh, they, I have to reseal them because uh, they're kind of loose and the water simply is going to go in there and uh, eventually drip inside the, uh, the trailer. And the biggest thing is those cracks or creases where the exoskeleton is mounted in the front. And that's the only area. I don't, don't see that uh, problem anywhere else on the mounting points, just here in the front of the camper. Uh, Overall, we're pretty happy with this uh, trailer and uh, we're hoping it's gonna last as long as our other trailer did, did at least. Uh, we had the trailer for 15 years and uh, recently 
last month I just sold it and uh, we decided to get something newer and smaller at the same time. So the nice part about it when you're towing, it's not much wider than your towing vehicle. So you don't even need an extended mirror. Another thing I found I couldn't do on this trailer is to mount a st um, stabilizer for the front um, or sw anti-sway bars, uh, however you want to call those. Uh, I have them, but uh, there's not enough room uh, to mount them because of this uh, box right here in the front. Uh, but maybe I'll come up with something or maybe there is a different design that I could use. So anyways, uh, so this is a customer's review. Um, I'm, I'm not getting paid to do this review. I'm still learning about this trailer a little bit, even though most of the trailers are similar, but uh, it's still a learning curve. Um, but anyway, so that's it for today. And uh, if you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them uh, if I can. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.